Barn. Team coverage begins with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer and brand new information just in on Elsa. That's right. We have just about a hurricane here with winds at 70 miles an hour, so still a tropical storm, but a very, very high end tropical storm. It won't take much increase in intensity to bring it to hurricane status. Uh, it is not going to get a whole lot stronger if it does become a hurricane because it's running out of time here over water. Winds at 70 miles an hour at 5 p.m. Moving to the north at 10, kind of a slow speed there, and the pressure 998 millibars. It has been going down. Remember, it had been very high, but now it's gone down 155 miles to the south southwest of Tampa, Florida there. This yellow area is the extent of the tropical storm conditions, and most of those are on the east side of it. And with those winds swirling around Elsa and that type of motion there, what's going to happen is it's going to start piling water up along the Florida west coast as it moves to the north. So a storm surge warning in effect could be three to five feet of normally dry ground being covered by water storm surge and that's in this case here are the latest warnings across the area a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the lower keys has been discontinued for the middle keys all the way up the coast except for this one part of the coast here including the tampa bay area which is under a hurricane warning now with the expectation elsa will be a hurricane by the time it reaches uh, that part of florida here's the future track and there's not a lot to it this is the uh, very very short version in it because we're very close in now this is overnight tonight bearing down on the Tampa Bay area and then after that tomorrow morning into North Florida. The yellow of course is the extent of the expected tropical storm conditions which does include Orlando as well as Fort Myers maybe even Naples but the cone there that's just where the center the center point is expected to be two thirds of the time after that zips onto the northeast forecast a week and some could restrengthen as a tropical storm in the northeast but we're going to let other folks worry about that we're going to be done with elsa by tomorrow in terms of our weather tonight a tornado watch in effect until 11 p.m because the wind field around elsa is creating some potential for rotation in the atmosphere it's a bit higher over the west coast but can't rule out the possibility of a brief tornado here on the East Coast. Here are the keys this evening looking good. There's one little band of thunderstorms here that could impact the keys, but for the moment, it looks like it's going to pass to the north. We had a pretty good band earlier this afternoon, but that has now faded out. So quiet for the moment, but can't rule out another band form. So what happened today? Wow. While well, the hurricane hunter got out there this afternoon and found that Elsa had strengthened, the pressure had dropped as it was moving to the north. And so uh, that upgraded basically the possibility of seeing a hurricane as it got stronger there, not too far away from being a hurricane. So as we go through the night tonight, we're going to see some squalls still possible and some gusty downpours as well. We're not completely out of the woods yet for some rough weather this evening, but overnight the weather improves gradually. Keys and South Florida looking better and basically Tampa Bay as well as the west coast of Florida will see the biggest impacts on Elsa. I'll talk about uh, other aspects of Elsa and what we're watching coming up in just a bit.